in 1979. A girl named Beth is reading a horror story about a monster to her younger sister Angela and their friend Charles. Another girl named Rachel comes to the room. She says it is time for Charles to go home and leaves. The young girl goes to the bathroom. While Charles sits next to her sister, Beth, he wants to kiss her, but they do not do it. Soon, Beth sees that her sister Angela is scared in the bathroom. She asks her what it is, and Angela points to her reflection in the mirror. In the mirror, some entity appears and the girl flies backward. Forty years have passed since that event occurred. A family rides in their car and arrives at a house. They get out, and the lady knocks on the door. A much older Charles comes to greet them, saying he is Beth's friend. He meets Olivia and Claire. Inside the house, the lady tells Claire that they will find her father. They will stay in the house for only a few days. Olivia tries to comfort her sister too. Then Beth comes down with Charles. She stares at them and leaves. The girl's caretaker comes near Beth, and Beth lets her know that she does not want them there. The lady introduces herself as Camilla. She worked with the girl's mom. The girls are not visitors, but rather Beth's nieces. Their mother lost her life, and Camilla cannot take them because she is going across the country. Besides, she was not able to contact their father. Meanwhile, Charles tells Claire and Olivia that their aunt is a great person. He explains that Beth has been through a lot in life. Beth brings the girls to Angela's room, the girl that was taken long ago. She goes over some strict house rules with them. The elevator is broken, so they are to stay away from it. She shows them the doors to her study, which they are also not to enter. And the basement door has to stay locked, because it has rats. She informs the young girls that she sleepwalks, so they should ignore any strange noises at night. She explains that there will be consequences for them if they wander the house at night. Olivia says she understands the rules, but Claire asks her stuffed toy if she understands them, before telling Olivia she does. The older sister Olivia informs Beth that Claire does not talk to strangers. Beth states that it's a weakness. In their given room, Olivia takes out a picture of a lady that is likely her mother. While she unpacks, the door opens by itself. After unpacking, she comes outside to see Charles. They engage in small talk, before he tells her to get ready for dinner. At the table, Charles lets them know that he prepared African stew. He gives Beth a present. She opens it, and it is a book on necromancy. Claire eats the stew, and starts feeling bad. Charles goes over the ingredients he put in the food, and Olivia rushes off for something. He stays with Claire on the floor, and Olivia returns to inject her with a remedy. She tells Charles that Claire is allergic to peanuts, which was one of the ingredients. In the washroom, Olivia notices the mirror is covered. She starts unraveling it, and perceives a girl in the bathtub. The girl touches Olivia in the mirror, causing her to run away, scared. She hides under the blanket in her bed. Later at night, Claire wakes up. Her bunny tells her to come to the basement to help her mother. Claire hesitates and says it is locked, but the bunny knows where the key is. Shortly after, Claire enters Beth's study and finds Beth sleeping there. She opens her drawer and takes out a box. Her bunny instructs her how to open it. The girl listens and takes out the key. Soon, she uses it to open the basement door. Descending the stairs, Claire becomes scared, but her bunny comforts her. She sees a candle light up and takes it. A dusty mirror greets the girl. She asks if it is her mother and gets confirmation that it is. Claire asks her where she is and the writing reveals that she is in a dark place. She wants Claire to get her out and asks if she will help her. The girl agrees to it and asks how. The mirror shows her that she has to repeat a statement three times. When Claire does it, she hears strange sounds and gets scared. In the morning, Olivia wakes up and wonders where her sister is. She walks into a room and observes the cabinet open by itself. She comes near it and finds Claire sitting inside. Claire tells her that she is hiding from Beth. Olivia gets her out and assures her that their aunt doesn't want to hurt her. This prompts Claire to take her to Beth's study. In there, Claire takes out an article from a box and hands it to Olivia. It states that Beth is responsible for her family's eternal rest. Claire tells Olivia that their mother told her about this. In the next scene, Olivia calls Camilla, telling her to get them out of there, because of what the article said. Then, Beth occupies her study and finds that her box is empty of its key. During mealtime, Beth says the girls could stay longer if they want to. Olivia responds that it is a nice offer, but their father would like to take them soon. Beth, however, states that their father is hard to reach now. Beth asks Claire if she would like to stay, and the girl agrees to it. This seems to make Olivia feel uneasy. On their bed, Olivia hears Claire saying she wants something to come out. She comes near her, and sees the girl scratching herself to the point of bleeding. Her sister tries to stop her, but Claire holds her by the neck against the wall. That is when Beth enters. She tells them that Charles will take her to the hospital. Later, Charles arrives in his car. Olivia comes out and goes to wait inside his car. In there, she finds something in the backseat that scares her. She runs out. It is revealed that it was a gun and a knife. Olivia comes back home, and her aunt confronts her about Claire's visit to the basement. Olivia tries to run, but Charles grabs her and brings her down. They make her swallow a pill. Later, she awakens in her bed. She tries to leave, but the doors are locked. The girl comes near the window and spots Camilla outside. She sees how Charles sends Camilla away. This causes her to knock on the window for Camilla to notice. But Camilla just drives off. In a short while, though, Olivia comes to the window again and sees Camilla standing there and telling the girl to come down. Olivia tells her to get the gun that's in the car. Meanwhile, Charles is going to his car for a similar reason. He sees the gun is missing, 
and that is when Camilla stands behind him, pointing the weapon at him. They both enter the house for Beth to see. Camilla tells Charles to get the girls, and he comes back with Olivia. To retrieve Claire, he unlocks a door nearby and carries her out. Camilla asks what they did to her, and Beth says they did nothing. Beth also says that Claire cannot be taken from here, because some entity won't let her leave. Camilla locks them in that same room. The three of them leave and get inside the car. Claire says she wants to wait for her mom. She tells them that their mother is coming back into the mortal world. Furthermore, she wants her bunny, who is currently not with her. Olivia goes to get it. She enters the house and looks for it in their given room. After not finding it there, she finds it sitting near the front door. It says not to leave. Olivia collects it and runs to the car with it. Near the car, the girl discovers that Camilla has lost her life and Claire is missing. She opens the door, where Beth and Charles were locked behind. Olivia informs them of what happened. Later, Beth sits her down and starts telling her the complicated situation that is taking place. She says that Claire does not know about the evil force that sits inside her. Meanwhile, Charles cleans the bloody car while a police vehicle drives near. Beth tells Olivia that the creature is taking shape inside of Claire, as it did with Angela. Beth eliminated her because she destroyed their parents. To this, Olivia tells Beth that she's not going to destroy her sister. Beth doesn't want to do that either. She returned to this house after her release so she could defeat the monster. She states that it won't let Claire go far, and she is likely in the house. Later, Olivia comes to Charles and asks him if he participated in Angela's destruction. He tells her that he's the one who did it and ran after he did. Beth, however, was caught. She was confined to a mental hospital and never mentioned Charles' name. He tells Olivia how he ended up having a free life while Beth did not. So he owes her his life because of that. Following that, the three of them search the house to find Claire. In the bathroom, Olivia tries turning on the lights, but they don't work. She hears static on the wall panel. Soon enough, Claire comes at her from the dark with a knife and stabs Olivia. Olivia pushes her down and runs out. She hides in a room and calls out to the others. The room she hid in is the elevator, and it starts bringing her down. She exits into the basement. In there, Olivia equips herself with a stick and calls Claire's name. The little girl appears behind her with a knife. Olivia turns to see her, while Claire comes closer. This makes Olivia fall and Charles appears behind Claire, covering her with a bag. Subsequently, Charles and Beth tie the bag Claire is in with a rope. The man suggests they need something that belongs to Claire, and Olivia mentions her bunny. She walks into her room, with Charles behind her, and he locks her in there. Afterward, Charles and Beth place Claire on the floor. Olivia tries to break free, and some force unlocks the doors for her. She points the gun at Beth and Charles. She follows that by telling Beth to put down her knife. Beth does what she is asked, and starts talking about how she tried to help her sister and others like her for the past 15 years. But she has failed. She had no choice but to lie to Olivia. Beth says that only through death will the problem be solved. They must do it this way. Olivia demands that she is given the knife, and Charles places it next to her. When she tries to collect it, the man stops her and steals the gun. This brings the girl to challenge him by asking if he wants to carry the weight of another girl's loss of life. Charles struggles at hearing those words and gets a flashback to the distant past. He decides to point the gun at Beth and apologize to her. What happens next is Beth getting tied to a chair. In another room, Charles tells the girl that Beth isn't evil, but she just thinks that it needed to be done. Olivia gets the idea to give her sister peanut butter, the food she is allergic to. They go up to her and put some peanut butter in her mouth. She opens her eyes and starts reacting negatively to it. Charles holds her down some more, while Olivia gets the medicine ready. The furniture in the room starts shaking, and Claire makes demonic sounds. In a while, black smoke exits her mouth, and she comes to a rest. Olivia gives her the injection after that. Since nothing happens, she gives her sister another one. Unfortunately, a third one follows. Olivia urges Claire to wake up, but she cannot. Eventually, though, she opens her eyes. The two rejoice in her awakening. After the event, the sisters are in their room. Charles says, that Beth has a hard time believing the monster was sent back because of peanut butter. He follows that by handing an envelope full of money to Olivia. They then pack their belongings and place them outside the front door. However, that door closes on them. Charles attempts to open it, but it is not possible. They start walking and Claire gets dragged away. The door closes and they are forced to break through it. The gang runs to the basement and sees her there. Olivia gets slammed against a mirror by an invisible force and it shatters. She perceives the monster in a broken mirror piece and uses one to cut the monster. Afterward, they all run away. They hear it yell behind closed doors, and it even tries to break in. After it stops trying, Olivia wants to know what is happening. Beth reads aloud about it in her book. She comes across a passage that states, a spirit could be caught between two worlds until it completes its journey. Beth reasons that it is why the entity still wants Claire and can touch them. Olivia says that she saw and heard it by using a mirror shard. Beth believes they can destroy it. In the next scene, they set up mirrors in a room and stand there. The lights soon turn off, and Claire resorts to using a flashlight. The monster comes out from a cabinet and takes her away. The crew searches for her and decides to go down into the basement. But it is locked, so they try the elevator. Beth and Olivia enter. However, Charles gets locked out. 
Following that, Claire stands in her room while looking at the shattered mirror. A voice speaks to her, revealing to be her mother. The girl sees her in the shard and stabs her invisible body. Charles hears the scream and rushes to Claire. He breaks through the door and sees her levitating. With his presence, she gets released, and he attempts to stab the monster. But it grabs him and slams him against the wall. After that, it directs his shard piece toward him. He yells at the girl to run away. His neck starts getting impaled, and soon enough, he is put to rest. With that, writing on the wall tells Claire to say the words or the others will lose their lives too. However, the girl does not want to do it and runs away. She gets to the elevator and finds that it's locked. Meanwhile, Beth and Olivia wander inside the basement. Beth suddenly gets taken by the spirit, and Olivia gets knocked down by a bowling ball. She uses the last energy she has to crawl to her aunt. There, she lies while a stick levitates above her, getting ready to come down on her. This causes the girl to scream. Meanwhile, Claire stands behind the locked door and picks up the shard next to her. She starts saying the words that were demanded of her a short while ago. The stick gets put down, and the monster is walking inside the mirror. Olivia yells for her sister not to finish the words. What follows is Beth taking the shard and saying the words instead. She gives her shard to Olivia and tells her to stab her. The spirit enters inside her, and Olivia uses the shard on her aunt, ending her and perhaps the spirit as well. After the ordeal, Olivia finds Claire, who sits crying. She tells her sister that it's over. The police arrive on site and take the girls away. One officer finds Charles and Beth inside with their lives taken away. Inside the ambulance, Olivia says that Beth saved them. Claire says that she loves her sister, and Olivia says she loves Claire back. In the end, the candle in the basement is lit. It goes out by itself.